Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We're talking about a very important thing today on the foot market. When should you be buying these Team of the Season so far Premier League cards? I want to talk about with you guys today the price fluctuations that we have been seeing with these cards and also when I think they're going to hit their lowest because this is literally the cheapest Team of the Season I think we have had almost ever in FIFA Ultimate Team, if we look at these prices, they are just stupid, stupid cheap. Over here uh, on the footman, we're looking at the squad. A lot of these cards' prices have fallen insane amounts from the weekend. There have been tons of coins taken off this game with SBCs, upgrade SBCs um, that people have been doing trying to pack these cards. And it seems like nobody wants to buy cards right now in foot. That is all going to change on Thursday with Weekend League Rewards. This Thursday is going to be one of the most exciting Thursdays for Weekend League Rewards ever in FIFA because these cards are going to be in the red player pick. So what does that mean? Also, a lot of people are going to be packing them from Elite Team of the Week packs. So that is a big difference maker for this market as well. So I want to take you guys through all of that today in this video and talk about when you can buy these cards for your team if you do want to buy them for your squad. So there's kind of two different things we have to talk about here. Is the is it a buy before rewards or is it a buy during rewards? I think it depends on the card. And I guess a lot of these cards I'm going to say, we're going to be looking at purchasing on Thursday. On Thursdays when we're going to be looking to purchase these cards or Wednesday night late. Basically in the rewards time period, that's we're going to have our eyes on these cards because that's when they were the cheapest last week. And I think so many people just wait for the rewards until they see what they get. And then from there, they go out and they buy stuff. They put teams together for the so they're ready for the next weekend league. So let's talk about a guy like Salah first, right? Salah is a very valued card that is in this team of the season. Not the most like crazy value because this, this guy last year, his team of the season last year, this Salah was a 2.2, 2.3 million coin card. And this year he's 1.1 mil. I think part of that has to do with St. Maximin and some of the other right mids. Like, of course, um... Mares getting into team of the season as well and this guy only having a three-star weak foot but a lot of these guys on the upper tier what's going to happen to them they're not going to get packed that much during weekend league rewards so for the high tier cards i really want you guys to look at these um in the panic leading up to wednesday night into rewards and then during the first hour or two of weekend league rewards i really 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 want you guys to be looking at these higher tier prem team of the season cards what classifies itself as a higher tier card as we look through this squad a higher tier card would basically to me be anything over a million coins right think about what happened last week uh let me go search this really fast uh with joe gomez's card right joe gomez's card with team of the season community um it's 1.6 mil right now this guy was 1.1 million coins on playstation on wednesday and thursday right wednesday and thursday 1.1 mil and of course the prem came out this guy's a bit 1.6 mil. So same thing with, with what happened with this card at rewards last week was basically nobody packed it in their reds or in their elite team of the week packs. So when rewards came out, you saw his price kind of stay steady. Maybe a few people packed it. There wasn't a lot of undercutting. His price kind of stayed steady. And then after, you know, two, three, four hours after rewards, this guy's price, as long as along with a lot of the other cards that were very popular last week, like Moses Simon, these cards exploded 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 on the market after rewards because people didn't get them in blues or they didn't get them in reds and they all shot up after that zaha is another one man 750 this guy was 730 on wednesday and thursday and then he boomed into the weekend uh, as people just wanted to use team of the season cards and they didn't pack this guy red so i wish i could show you the exact graphs you could actually go look at my video from like you know six days ago on on friday where we looked at some of these graphs or um, of the, the TOTS cards and what happened during rewards, if you want to see some of those graphs. Um, but a lot of them, what happened was they were they were kind of here going into rewards, especially like the middle tier to lower tier ones. They were kind of at a price headed into rewards. Then they dropped down a little bit with the elite pack supply, and then they bounced right back up. I think the bounce this week is going to be fast. So if you're awake for rewards, um, definitely... Be looking at the market. The first hour or so of rewards and right at the beginning of that second hour, when everybody who packs these cards from Elite Rewards, uh, it relists, then you're going to have a situation where you could see a price, a few price undercuts and open bids expiring as well. That's where I think you might want to start buying on some of these cards. 
um, especially in the middle uh, to lower tier. The guys are going to get packed a lot more. You know, you might be able to wait an hour, two hours, three hours after rewards before they actually hit their lowest, uh, like maybe an Adama or a Wambasaka. But somebody like Richarlison or Mares, Sun, Aubameyang. Aubameyang, again, I've, I've talked to you guys multiple times about this Aubameyang card this week. Uh, this Aubameyang right now is like 1.7 million coins, right? Uh, I would not be surprised if this Aubameyang card explodes up to close to 2 million coins uh, within, uh, honestly, within hours after the lightning rounds. 99 paced Aubameyang, right? He's so rare. This card is so rare on this game. If you take a look at his supply and, com and compare the price, I know we have a couple Inform Aubameyangs in here, but this dude still has only three pages of supply right now on the market, which is crazy. If we if we compared him to another 96 rated card like Aguero um, or Salah, I think has even more supply. Even Mane and Sun have more supply than this Aubameyang card. I know Sun is a very sought after team of the season card, but look how much supply Sun has, man. Sun has a lot of supply compared to what Aubameyang has. Uh, Sun has how many pages? Five, six. I know we have some informs in here. Seven, eight. So maybe seven pages of supply, right? That's over double. That is over double of the supply of Aubameyang. And Aubameyang is a striker where a lot of people are disappointed. Sun is a left mid uh, as well. Aguero also, I think, has somewhere around like, you know, maybe seven, eight pages of supply on, on his team of the season. Where again, Aubameyang only has three. How much does Aguero have? Okay, Aguero only has five right now, but it also is a little bit late night. So you might expect a little bit more supply during the daytime and a little bit extra supply after rewards. But all I'm saying is if you want to buy a Tots card, right? Go and look at the supply. How about Van... Uh, let's not look at Van Dyke. Let's look at Jamie Vardy. This is a card a ton of people are going to go after at rewards. I would not be surprised if uh, if this dude... How many, how many pages of this Vardy are there on the entire game? How many pages of Jamie Vardy do we have? 94, 95 rated striker Vardy has only, for a lower tier card like this, how many pages of supply does he have? Eight, nine, we're going to hit 10 pages. 10 pages of supply for Vardy right now. That's kind of crazy, man. As an 800k card, I think this card could creep its way back up. Not quite to a million, but I would not be surprised if this card is 900k um, at some point this weekend. Premier League Tots is so hyped up. This card with the weak foot upgrade and being an English striker has got a ton of hype around the card. Like if you go to the foot bin and look at the games played and stuff, this guy has 19,000 games played, 0.94 goals per game, 738 thumbs up on a foot bin. This is a way where you can kind of tell how cards are hyped. Let's look at another 95. What about Sun? How many games played does he have? 12,000, so less games, 719 thumbs up, and less goals per game. Now, he's a left mid. People still probably play him a lot of striker. What about Mares? This is a really good comparison. Mares has 20,000 games played and 1,000 thumbs up. That, to me, shows hype, right? And I'm interested in cards that have this type of hype on them. More games played means, usually, a lot more hype, especially if it's a similar card on a similar tier. Um, I do expect Mares, Vardy, I mean, these guys are all going to explode. So, these, again, are the time frames that I'm looking at to buy these cards. Because if you want to buy these cards, I mean, for any reason, in the next, like, two weeks, this is going to be your low point. I cannot believe how low these cards have gotten already, to be honest. But again, the specific times to buy these, Wednesday before rewards. If you don't want to mess with rewards or you're not going to be awake uh, and you see some panic selling on these cards headed into rewards, like, let's say... Um, let's look at a different card, for example. Like, let's look at De Bruyne, right? This is a card that I would definitely try to buy as soon as you possibly can. This guy was 4.4 million coins last week, uh, last weekend when he first came out into packs. Right now he is 3.9, I think. He was 3, he was 3.6, 3, 3.7 at one point earlier this week on some panic. So if you see De Bruyne, you know, he's 3.8 right now. If you would see De Bruyne drop down another 100, like 200,000 coins on a card like this, this card is going to probably go 4.3, 4. point million coins or higher, I think. 4.3 or 4.4 4, um, this weekend because this is literally one of the best cards in the game. Literally one of the best cards in the game. This Kevin De Bruyne, Club 90 statistically. So I think this card's going to fly this weekend. So I would look at that card maybe in a little bit of a Thursday panic. If there's any Thursday panic, uh, you definitely want to get in on that but a lot of these Premier League cards are seriously just going to absolutely fly this weekend even on the lower tier right 
Um, Soyunchu. This is a card that a lot of people are going to get red, right? So you might not see the quickest rise on this guy's price, but I would, I would say there's a very high possibility that this Soyunchu card is back to 200,000 coins because he is the most usable and affordable team of the season card in this set. Uh, beside like him, Kovacic and Wambasaka and Robertson as well. Why in the world is team of the season Robertson 289k? People were paying almost this much for some of his informs at some point this year. At, at some points this year during FIFA. People were paying this much for some of his informs, man. And now this dude is 200 and 80, 80, 290,000 coins for a team of the season, Robertson, man. This is the type of card that, again, I see a lot of people buying this week because it's so cheap, man. Prem Tots is so affordable this year compared to past years. Henderson, I think, rises really well. Literally, I think every single one of these cards is going to rise well. The ones that are going to get packed a lot in reds, Kovacic, Adama, Henderson, Sayonchu, they might not get you know, the boost that you, you really want out of them. Seriously, a lot of us are going to see Soyuncu and Henderson. So I wouldn't expect massive rises out of them. Um, but a guy like Rashford probably going to be pretty rare in player picks. He's going to rise fast. Trent, 300k for Trent? Like what? This Mane for 1.7? What? Uh, yo, a lot of these cards are just so, 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 so cheap. I would highly recommend buying into them because again, we're going to have more and more coins put onto this market with Thursday rewards. So if you want any of these for your team, Wednesday night before rewards or Thursday in the first hour or two of rewards is I think when you want to buy. You want to be early with these cards. Seriously, you want to be so, so early with these cards uh, and time it as well as you can because um, so many people want to buy these because they're not packing them from upgrades and because they're just cheap, right? A lot of people can afford these that maybe couldn't afford cards like this price tier in the past. So I do think there's a massive market rise with these cards inbound as well. And even looking at some of the community cards, some of these community cards like Zaha, there's still guys that are going to try to build Premier League squads with the team of the season community TOTS cards that came out last week. I have two Zahas on my transfer list right now at 750 and 749,000 coins where I bought them. This guy was 900k almost last weekend. I would expect to see this guy probably get back up into the high 800s again. I think this guy is due for a 100k rise. I mean, you want to buy this type of card before rewards as well. Felipe Anderson, same situation. Joe Gomez, I don't know, man. I don't understand why that card is 1.6 mil. He's stupid expensive, but with the lack of center backs in the Prem, there's just not a lot of elite tier center backs you can really go to. That's why he's low. I mean, even with like a Moses Simon. Moses Simon is uh, 282k right now. He was almost extinct last weekend. Uh, I bought one at 250, and he went to 330k where I sold it. Right now, this guy is 280. If you could see undercuts on this guy, like 270, maybe there's a little bit of panic on at some point in time, Wednesday or Thursday of this week. This would be a card I'd be very, very interested in as well. If you're looking into buying a super sub for the weekend league, big, big fan of this card. Any team of the season that is no longer in packs. Calvin Phillips as well. A lot of you guys might want to know about Calvin Phillips, right? With the English links. Um, is this guy still like an, around 900K? Where is this guy at? This guy fluctuates a ton. He is under. Wow. Wow. So he's still under 900K. GG's 885. You know, an 850 for this card. I mean, he was 820 at his absolute lowest on the weekend league sell-off. When he was in packs, he's out of packs. It's English. This is a insane CDM. If you want this card for Weekend League, I would buy before rewards. Again, out of pack specials, you want to definitely buy before Weekend League rewards. And if you see big drops during the day before rewards, today and Wednesday, take buy the card. Seriously, what after 6 p.m., especially today, when we know what content that we're getting, if we do get the guaranteed Prem SBC today, watch for panic. That could be a time to pick up cards as well if you see them with big drops. Um, but then other than that, I think your early rewards time period and then right before rewards, if you see drop-offs, another drop-off in some of these cards' prices, that's going to be a perfect time to do it. And again, these cards are insane. The boosts are insane. We have another TOTS League coming this weekend. Some people are saying it's La Liga now, all right? Some people are saying it is La Liga TOTS this weekend. That's what the leaks, again, on Twitter are saying. Uh, and a lot of people are asking me about the guys like De Young or Varane. What should I do with those cards? If they get a TOTS, are they going to go lower? Take last weekend, for example, with what happened with like a KDB. 
and what also happened with like a Trent Alexander Arnold. There's two scenarios that could happen, right? Whether it is Syria or whether it is uh, La Liga who, or Bundesliga, whatever it's going to be, we don't know yet. We'll get a loading screen on Thursday to confirm that, all right? I'm not a huge fan of leaks again. Um, so just take leaks lightly and whatever somebody calls as a leak, it's never ever confirmed until we see something from EA Sports. So just kind of be careful with that. But this De Young card is down because people are thinking he's getting a tots. And again, the biggest question is, is he getting a team of the season? And if he does, is the rating and the stats higher, aka better than the tots card? What we saw with De Bruyne last week was his team of the season card was higher rated and had better statistics than his team of the year. So what happened was this team of the year card, which I think now is like 2.4 mil. This card was like 2.5 and it got panic sold all the way down to like 2.3 flat. I saw a couple pop in the 2.2 range and then he went back up to 2.5 later this week as people were like, oh man, that team of the season De Bruyne is 4 mil and this one got panic sold and then bought back because it was so expensive. The new card was. That same thing could happen to, Van, uh, to Delict, but also if Delict's team of the season card is uh, lower rated or De, De, uh, De Young, not Delict, my bad. If De Young's team of the season card is lower rated than the team of the year, you might see some panic selling in the morning, but when that card is released and you maybe see better stats on the team of the year than the team of the season, you might see some people buy back the team of the year instantly because they, th they know that the new card is not going to be as good, but then the team of the year would probably drop off on the weekend because the team of the season would be so cheap. So that's just something to think about. If the team of the season has better stats, these cards are very, very especially if it's a middle or lower tier card, uh, like a, I don't know about Varane. Varane's going to get a juiced card, but um, it, that's always the toughest scenario. So if you have a team of the season or a team of the year card, like a De Young or like a Ronaldo that you're scared to lose coins on, uh, right now, if you're selling it, you're probably selling it at a pretty low point. I would just wait until after rewards, if you see a pickup on those cards and you think team of the season De Young is going to be higher rated than team of the year. Again, that's all speculative until now but you could sell early if you wanted to and then take a chance on what happened or you could just hold, right? So um, that's the toughest scenario to kind of point out. But again, people are saying La Liga team of the season already. Uh, that is the the leaks that people are shouting right now. Again, never anything, nothing is ever guaranteed until we see EA talk about it or EA release something. But a lot of these La Liga cards are down for birthday Bale is down, Foot Birthday Hazard is down because people think they might get Toss cards or that a Team of the Season card would replace them as a more hyped version. Icons are going to go up this week if it's a meta icon. This is the rewards day. We'll talk about it a little bit tomorrow too, but this is the rewards day where stuff just absolutely flies. Even a guy like a Desai Moments, right? He'll get it packed a few times at rewards, sure, right? 600k for this card, man. Crazy. 700k for a CDM, aka center back. Uh, insane icon, right? French links, you know, uh, like your middle and your baby icons uh, are getting panic sold a lot as well. 94 Ronaldinho. This guy was 6.6 .6 last weekend. He's been 6.1 mil this week. Um, you're getting a lot of panic selling on these and a lot of these cards, people are going to be able to afford more easily now with all of the coin sucking that happened this week, but they're going to afford them easier because of all the money people are going to make from team of the season rewards. So that's my talk about when to buy team of the season's if you have any questions, please comment down below if you do any of those. And of course, drop a thumbs up on the video and subscribe to the channel if you are new. All right, it's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.